Just dump it in a pile. With this pile, we're going to keep dumping right here. Curtis says we're ready to go. We're going to pick some corn today. Hey, you're getting down stuff like that, it really throws you off. It's supposed to rain and snow. You know it, you got the Bud Man down here in Preston, Iowa. The bins are full. So now what we got to do is move corn in here. Looks like Curtis was pretty busy, cleaned all this out. This used, yesterday this was full of equipment. So all the equipment's out. Now we gotta start dumping corn in here. That's what this is for. We actually set a auger up and it actually goes all the way through. And each one of these holes, you can turn on and shut off. So each one of these holes, like I said before, can actually shut corn down and then you can shut that off and then dump it there, there, all the way. So this can actually haul a lot of corn. Right now they're actually dumping it out of the straight truck, just dumping it in a pile. And then we can dump it in through here until this is getting full back here. But that's what we got going on here. So it's kind of cool. We got corn piles, lots of corn going in here. Right now they're going to take that street truck and a semi out to the back where we're picking corn last night. And I got to go get a pickup truck and go pick them up. So, so it looks like we're taking it out of that first bin. There's three bins here. They're taking it out of that first bin. They'll dump it into this Brett 4 or 644. Wave hi to your friends. He'll fill this wagon up, take it all the way around into that auger back there I showed you before. Dump it in and he'll just keep rotating that back. So long process, it's gotta be done because we have no room. He's got a big old load on there. We had a little bit still over there. That's fine, we got her picked up. Nobody got hurt. Okay, we got the two trucks out back. Combine's running. So we're gonna get picking some corn here shortly. Okay, Curtis and I just swept a bunch of this out. So you can see the piles. So we probably won't need this much room, but just in case. Hi, Curtis. Time to get going and get done. Let's get her done. Yes. With this pile, we're gonna keep dumping right here. And this pile will slowly, slowly keep moving over, over. That's what Curtis had the drill for. He just drilled, covered these up so these will stay. Just put these two boards in with the two screws here, a couple screws there. So, so that corn will work its way over to here. Slow process, but that's what you gotta do. That's what we're doing here. Taking it out of that first bin there. All around like you saw with the wagon. Right now there's a semi out there getting dumped. That's what we're doing. We're hoping to get a good shot in today to get this done. At least 55 acres of that down corn. Uh, and then we got, I think, five acres way in the back over at Cahill, as he said. Then we got 25 acres up there across from the cattle shed from Jerry's house. That's going to get chopped over there, so we're not worried about that. Just this down stuff that you really got to worry about. So, well, we're going to get her going here and see if we can get things going. Get these combines going, this 25 or that 70. We're going to get some corn in today, boys and girls. With that being said, we'll talk to you when we get in the back. Uncle Bun and Curtis are greasing up the combine. Had to put a new grease suit in it. So Pat's taking out the semi. I gotta go pick him up. So we're gonna be back here shortly rolling. Okay, combine's all greased up. Pat's taking off. Curtis is gonna jump in the old 2588. We're going to uh, pick some corn here shortly. We're going to 7088. Got big red started up, so he gets warmed up. So we're gonna see what happens here. Bud man! There goes Pat and 70 going to get started. Jump up there and start it. Yes, sir. We're gonna grease them real quick, oil them, oil the chains. A two man job. So my job is to hit the left one first. And then the right one. That gets it going, everything going. Like we're actually picking corn. So he's actually spraying the chains with a lube. With this here chain and cable louver. I'll hit them on this side here. I'm gonna hit the, the, the yellow button on load. Oh, full time on load, that yellow button right there. That'll work. Shut everything down. Covers on. 
Curtis says we're ready to go. We're gonna pick some corn today, boys and girls. Shut the other cover up, ready to go. Big Red's running pretty good. I got my Mountain Dew and my water. Get her all closed up here and we're ready to roll. Finally, 2.30 in the afternoon, bud. That's what happens when you have cattle and chores and stuff to fix. And get the flat storage going. Ready to go up over there and get going. The old 2588. Put that up there so it doesn't forget it. You ready? All right, let's roll, yo. Let's rock and roll. Curtis said he's ready to go, so you got the bug man with Curtis today. Uncle Bug's gonna be with Pat. He's gonna open up over where Butch is at. He's gonna open that up so we can get that going too. So we'll see you here in a little bit. Getting her going today. It's November 22nd. Hopefully be done with the farm either tonight or tomorrow in the evening. Get moved up to Zymitz, and that's our last farm. It'll be easy going. Got some good standing corn, I believe, is what Dad said. Got this done last night. Dad did anyways. Had a little breakdown. Yeah, I got Bud running cart, and then Bun in the other cart. Mark, he's uh, running wagon for us, putting some storage in the flat storage in the shed. Then Dad's running the 7088. Time to get back at it. Hey, there's Uncle Bun. New Holland, Mud Man and Big Red. Mud's gonna catch up with her pet. I'm gonna be up over this hill there. There's about a, probably about a little piece here we're gonna take out. Right there it is. That's what we get to do. Probably about eight acres, I'm guessing. And Pat's gonna be over there. So we're gonna pick some corn here today, fellas. Here in Clinton County, home of Heart Tongue Family Farms. Don't look too bad. Some, some down corn up in there you can see, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. It's gonna be some gooseneck. You can't see the rolls all the way through. 2588 corn picking machines up in front of me. Okay, it looks like Curtis made it back around here. We're gonna get a dump. Sun shining, it's a beautiful day here. Heart Tuck Family Farms. I don't wear sunglasses too often, but look, the butt man has shades on. Woohoo! I'm not really a sunglass type of guy, but you can see the corn's really gonna, on this side here, really gooseneck some down broke off laying over it's going to be a slow day here in hard Tongue farms got these midland radios they work out pretty good for us it's called communication you got to have communication guys just chewing it up chewing it up Well, I had a little breakdown. I had a rock run in the head. Been one of the augers down there and had to take it in and heat it up and bend it back over and weld a little reinforcement weld there that holds it. Finally got her going and now we're back going here again. So much down stuff. It's just like you're trying to get down to get it, but at the same time, you're running rocks. So you can't really run her too low to the ground to get the down stuff. So it's just like, you just gotta pick her up and go over it and cut your losses. Just a real crappy year for down corn. Otherwise, I mean, we're gonna be done in, you know, a decent time, better than last year, but down corn makes a headache, I guess. Now this is the second time you see me climbing this hill. We'll get at it. Okay, you got the bud man back here. We had a little delay in action here. We picked up a rock and uh, auger in the 25 so we had to do a little maintenance on that parker's coming back with the gravity wagon so we had about a 20 minute delay actually about 10 minutes to get in 10 minutes to get back 20 minutes to fix it it was a quick fix so nothing major so we're gonna head back out and get some more corn done here comes curtis with that 25 corn eating machine it's gonna be a beautiful sunset again tonight Another half hour, 40 minutes, and should be sunset on us, so. Good. Okay, let's go get some corn. We're working on the down stuff, and it probably ain't gonna go too much longer in the dark and get real tough. There ain't much of it left. This stuff's just down, and the stuff over there is just leaning, so we'll move to that stuff next. Maybe see Dad over there with the lights. Over there above my mirror, you can see his lights. He's going over there by butches. That stuff is down really bad. That's where uh, our cattle shed, part of our cattle shed's still in that field. Don't know how much longer that'll go. That's all down really bad. Otherwise, I mean, it's go not going too bad. A little slow, two mile an hour. Maybe pick it up to about two and a half here and there. But this stuff's almost about to 
be going all one way. I might have to go one way on this, I'm not for sure, because it's all leaning. Some of it's down real bad coming this way. I'm able to kind of get under it and let it come into the head right away, but some of it that's completely down, I can't go into it this way. I have to come with it to get it. Then the head, I'll let the head work and the head will just reel it in. But otherwise, I mean, stuff like this, this isn't terrible. This should probably go a little bit quicker, but you just really gotta watch and try to get under it all like over there in the corner. Some of it's down and hangs over the edge. And haven't had many clog ups or anything like that quite yet. Not many of them, like some of this stuff right here. Like this stuff, it's tough to get at. You just gotta kinda stay down and see if you can pick through it. I got some of it, but oops. Hey, you're getting down stuff like that, it really throws you off and really can't even see where your rolls are at. But yeah, everything's going somewhat smooth besides that one little mishap I had earlier with the rock getting the head bend that auger don't have a crazy amount left on this piece that has the worst down stuff on this side of the trees besides dad's dad's is definitely the worst let's see if I can prop you up here and talk to you this is the worst down stuff on the north side of the trees
kind of go into it like this and it'll stand it up and you just got to hit the rows right i mean it's a lot better going than what i had before okay we're running actually at night now we're running a little later it's so tough dad's over here too i know he's finishing up some end rolls down there but otherwise we're gonna be we might wipe this field out tonight don't know though up to dad. A couple dips and ditches in here, yeah, we gotta watch. But other than that, the corn ain't really down. There's some spots where it's down, but usually it's just leaning over. But we're able to pick that right up. Fun had a lead. Parker's running great card for us now. Guy yeah, that helps out once in a while, also can do it for us a little bit. Does bail and raking for us. Oh, some cameras going on. Going about three mile an hour, it's not bad. I mean, as soon as I hit the stock, you just fall off, so I gotta go look enough where as soon as I hit the stock, it's almost in the back of the head, and hopefully the gears fall off right into the logger, but uh, you get what you can. That's all I can really do with this stuff. If we can get this field wiped out tonight, it'd be a good chunk. Then we don't have, then we don't have to worry about all that down corn there over by the cattle shed. If there's a little bit up that kale yet, and then they're over to Kudos. They're not Kudos, Simons, I mean. Mark Simon's place. He's helping us. He's, he's the one moving the corn. He's moving a little dry corn and he's taking loads in for us. Big help there. No semi driver, just he's able to keep up with the wagon, which is big time. There's that. Doing that in rows. Better get all the wicks. Coming here. And you can't forget about Bud. I about forgot about Bud. He's, a, he's been a really great help this year. He's running grain cart for dad up in andrew bellevue here for us now he's just knows what he's doing there he is now as you guys call him bud man yep he's been helping us out a lot same with ronald jumped into another field so we got pat over here we're in the same field as pat pat's right here over here and curtis is right here so we got the 2588 7088 right over there so we're picking some corn here tonight it's supposed to rain and snow on tuesday so we're going to try to knock this out late tonight and tomorrow so we'll see if we get her done hopefully we get her done i got that piece done way over there east of the fence line oh uh, dad was working on that piece by the cattle yard a little bit he's we're all finished that in the morning then i got a little strip over here and a little strip in Kales will finish that up tomorrow. I don't know if we'll move to Zymus with the rain moving in. I doubt we will, but we'll just have to see what time we get at tomorrow. For now, that's probably about it. Catch you later, YouTube.